we finally make it to some more Stranger Things season five news, the final season of the Stranger Things series. We're gonna break down some behind the scene footage because that's the only thing they showing as of right now. But the last scene of Stranger Things season four was this shot right here, which makes it real confusing on what the heck is happening in this world. Everybody for sure look older because it has been years since season four. So how are they gonna explain this ending based off of the time jump? One theory I seen online was maybe this is like a mental projection that Eleven was doing. They can write it off like that, but that's kind of shoehorning the whole thing. Comment down below what you think is the best way to deal with this. But this is an issue, in my opinion, that has to be addressed in the first or two episodes. Like, what the heck happened to all the time in between the scenes? So back at it, she got long hair and whatnot. Next is this little girl. Now, this making me feel like it could be possibly the little girl this little girl grown up or something but it is a like i think three new little kids that are seen in this behind the scene footage that could possibly setting up like the second t sequel of the project i know they don't want to end this ip at netflix but they do want to end the story of the four kids in 11 it's just how would they pass it off to the next project without making it feel like a money girl you know this is erica st Clair, lucas little sister with some little pudgy little <laughs> pudgy little kid i feel like introducing these young casts for sure you're trying to tee up something we don't know what it is but for sure it's something also when are they gonna like you know get the government involved in this because it's like the world is ending at this point are we not gonna see like the government interaction like bring some actual professionals whoever whoever is in this world that's at a top tier because these kids been freaking saving the world and it's teetering on unbelievableness at this point meet up is confirmed robin and joyce meeting up i think the whole gang like everybody's gonna meet up it's the last season it's it's gonna kind of feel like game of thrones where the whole series it been so many groups doing stuff within the world that that last season, everybody kind of merged into like one big group. And for sure, if they, do it, if they don't do it now, when are they going to do it? And I think they was already teeing up because, again, basically almost everybody was already there when it was staring at the end of the world. So but we get some helicopter action too. So we're going to see how they respond to this. We're seeing this image of the eleven. This is another one going for full Jean Grey on somebody. We don't know who. You know, I feel like Vecna need a little team. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's like 20 v one. They treating him like Drake, so for sure he needs some type of assistance, even if he has some like minions or whatnot. But I think it'd be pretty dope. No, he do got the little Demi Gorgons and like freaking ghouls and goblins. I'm just saying like like entities that he can converse with. So that could be a whole nother shade of like how he runs jump but at the same time he wants to be numero uno so it kind of makes sense now this is my favorite little squad because you got you got like the past love triangle and then you got dustin over there crack, crack of jokes and like being his being top tier so for sure this is better than the original four squad boys but i know they're gonna get nostalgia cooking in it's been 10 years since the original season the four squad will be coming back full effect. Now, if y'all don't know, homeboy is in love with his brother, with his like best friend. I mean, what homeboy? At? <laughs> will is in love with Mike type junk, but Mike still in love with Eleven. I don't need them to spend too much time on that crap. All right, we this ain't for you know what I'm saying. This is for the action. We've been building up to the end. Let's let's keep the action going. We don't need that much heart in this. Me personally, comment down below if you feel I'm tripping, but I'm I, I'm here for the action. I need to um need some conflicts, some resolutions to occur. I don't know what the heck they looking at, but they they doing their Scooby Doo vibes. Max seems like she's gonna be a full recovery, teaming back up with Lucas and Max. I don't know if they're gonna go to friendship rap, but I don't need this crap either. I need action, resolution, resolve. That's just me personally. I know I don't have no say in the matter, but I just need, I need, I need that, oh, you know what I'm saying? Now, I do like the new setup of how making, like, the episodes almost a movie length long. Just don't, 
Well, I say put it all in there because it is the last season. You know, I can skip through. And for sure, if uh, what's his name, Will and the Will storyline, I'm skipping through. I don't got time for that crap. I ain't wait this long for people to confess their emotions. <laughs> they ain't for me. They ain't how we got into it in the world. We got in the world about these darn demogorgons and shit like that. But teachers on. Been a long time. I feel kind of old. I ain't gonna cap. But uh, not that old, cause I'm still close to their age. Like I was a little kid. Comment down below. How you feel about the what we've seen thus far of the season five of Stranger Things? I will keep you updated. All things Stranger Things till it comes out. We kind of break it down as a group here at the Immunity. No. What are you waiting for? Do, do it. it. Make your dreams Don't come true. Dreams Just dreams. do it.